Hello, my lovelies. It's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to solve these equations. Let's start with our first example. We want to solve this equation for x. We have a linear equation here with some fractions. Our x is here and here. So the good thing is that x is already on just one side of the equation. There is no x on the other side. But the bad news is, well, we have to work with these fractions. And people usually don't like fractions. But we can get rid of the fractions. We just have to multiply by a certain number. How do we find this number? Well, let's take a look at the denominators of our fractions. We have a 2 and we have a 3. And now we search for a number that is divisible by 2 and 3. And you always find this number, especially if you're dealing with such small numbers here, you can always find this number by just multiplying these numbers. So 2 times 3 equals 6. And this number is divisible by 2 and divisible by 3. So this is this uh, common multiple and we can use it to get rid of the fractions. We just multiply the equation by 6. So we take the whole left side and multiply it by 6 and the same on the other side we multiply it by 6. What do we get then on the left side? We have to multiply everything by the 6. So 6 times the first part here. I write it down like this. Then we have the plus and 6 times the second part. So 6 times this here and on the other side 10 times 6 equals 60. There are still fractions. I promised you that they will go away, but be patient, they will if we reduce the fractions now. So we have 6 times this fraction here. We can multiply it by writing the 6 as a fraction itself. So 6 equals 6 over 1. And now if we multiply these fractions, before multiplying, we can reduce them. So the 6 and the 2, for example, they have common factors. They are both divisible by 2. So 6 divided by 2 equals 3 and 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And now we can multiply. 3 times x equals 3x. And in the denominator, we have 1 times 1, which equals just 1. And we don't have to write this divided by 1. We can just leave it like this. And there are no fractions anymore, as I promised. So we go to the next part. And here it is the same. We write the 6 as a fraction. So we have 6 over 1. Before multiplying, we take a look if we can reduce the fractions here. We can. Uh, because the 6 and the 3 are both divisible by 3. So 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. So if we multiply now, we have 2 times x, which equals 2x. And in the denominator, again, 1 times 1. We don't need to write this down, so we leave it like that. And there is no fraction anymore, and we have our 60 on the other side. A beautiful linear equation with no fractions anymore. Now, since we have our x parts on the left side, we can just add them. So we have 3 of these x's plus 2 of them, which equals 5 of these green x's. And on the other side, we have our 60. To solve for x, we just have to get rid of the 5 here. So we have 5 times x. So if we divide both sides by this 5, we can get rid of the 5 here. So 5 cancels out and only x is left. And on the other side, 60 divided by 5 equals 12. And this is our result. OK, let's take a look at our second equation here. We want to solve for x again. x is here, here, and this time it is also on the other side. But it's not a big problem. We will solve this later. But for now we see, okay, we have x here, here, and here. 
And we are dealing with fractions again. If we want to get rid of the fractions, what do we do? We multiply by a certain number. And we find this number by taking a look at the denominators. This time we have three of them. And we are searching for a number that is divisible by 3, divisible by 4, and divisible by 5. We are dealing with small numbers, so just multiply them and see what the result is. So 3 times 4 times 5 equals 4 times 5 equals 20 times 3 equals 60. So if we multiply this equation by 60, we will get rid of all the fractions. So let's do this. We take the left side and multiply it by 60 and we take the right side and multiply it by 60 as well. What do we get on the left side then? Here we have to multiply every part of this left side by 60. So the first part and the second part. So we have 60 times this first fraction. Then we have our plus and then we have 60 times the second fraction. And on the other side the same thing. We have to multiply everything by our 60. So we have 60 times 11 first, then we have our plus, and then 60 times the second fraction. Okay, the fractions are still there, but let's simplify everything here. So let's start here. If we want to multiply, we can write the 60 as a fraction, so 60 over 1. And now we can reduce these fractions. 60 and 3 are both divisible by 3. So 60 divided by 3 equals 20. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. So we have 20 times x, which equals 20 x and in the denominator 1 times 1 equals 1. We can leave it like this then. The, then we have the plus. Here the same. We write this as a fraction. Then we cancel things out because 60 and 4 are both divisible by 4. 60 divided by 4 equals 15. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. So we have 15 times x which equals 15 x and the denominator is 1 again. On the other side 60 times 11 maybe we split this into two parts so we have 60 times 10 first and then we add 60 times 1 to this. 60 times 10 equals 600, 60 times 1 equals 60, so if we add this we get 660. And here we write the 60 again as a fraction and 60 and 5 are both divisible by 5, so 60 divided by 5 equals 12, 5 divided by 5 equals 1. Now we can multiply 12 times 2x this time. So 12 times 2 equals 24 and then we add the x and the denominator is 1 again. Okay, no fractions anymore. Now we can simplify the left side. We have 20 of our green axes and want to add 15 of our green axes. So we get 35 of our green axis. And on the other side we can't add these two because the first is just a number and the second part contains an x. I wrote this down on the next page again. We still want to solve for x and to be able to do this we have to bring all the parts that contain an x to one side of the equation. So we have the 35x already on the left side but here here are 24x and we want to bring them to the left side. So we have plus 24x to bring them to the other side. We can subtract 24x on both sides of the equation. What do we get then? 35x minus 24x. So 35 minus 24 equals 11 and then we add our green x. On the other side we have our number here the 660 and 24x minus 24x just cancels out. Okay now we just have to get rid of the 11 here. We have 11 times x so we divide 
both sides by this number, by this 11, then it cancels out on the left side and only our x is left. And on the other side, 660 divided by 11 equals 60. And this is the result for our second equation. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care.